this group as a way to legitimatize academic rigor and challenge and have it spill over to affect all other children. A gift isn't anything until, until it's given. And the gift, gifted education would be the kinds of things that we give kids to provide them with maximum opportunities to develop their, their potentials. Accelerated, enriched experience that's appropriate for a child with unique abilities exemplifies quality gifted education. Where do you teach them? The other is, what do you teach them? And the other is, how do you teach them? You can have a profile of a child and you should not limit, I think, you know, looking at what giftedness is because it could be in many guises. Mm -hmm. Using talent development as the key expression to talk about talent development in music, in arts, in sports, in every field of human activity. Real program for the gifted, I don't think we've ever figured out. We look for those that aren't identified and to try to find them and then give them the appropriate services. We can't afford to not provide the most sophisticated education we can for these right. youngsters because it means our survival in this century. These are the people that make a difference in all walks of life, uh, in the economy. Uh, the person that comes up with one little tiny idea can put a million or ten million people to work. We still have to look and find those kids that are acting out, those kids that are underground that are hiding their abilities, that are at risk, and also the twice exceptional. We still have serious problems with regard to equity. Um, any uh, analysis you do of the demographics of gifted programs, vis-a-vis -vis the demographics of general uh, educational programs, you find a vast underrepresentation of poor kids and children of color in gifted programs. We made some sincere efforts. The projects funded by the, the Javits office in Washington have been very well intentioned in some cases, I think quite effective, but we still have a long ways to go. We have many fine examples uh, across this country of programs that are serving gifted students very well. And the only downside is that they're not everywhere, they're only in a few selected places. There is mm, enough research, enough data to tell us what can be done. Well, I do think we have to have a national mandate. We still have 18 states that have no a higher ed program uh, to prepare teachers for the gifted. Most of the colleges of education don't have anything to prepare teachers to face intellectually gifted students. We're now looking at uh, higher standards for teacher training programs and standards for programs that serve young people. It's a team operation. It should be a team operation. We need to look at a different orientation to the verbiage that we use. Every 15 years you have to throw out all the old terminology and get new terminology. We'd like to see us make some progress with respect to issues of, of equity. We have a great uh, a great responsibility for disadvantaged gifted mm. children. I think we need to sit down and redefine the characteristics of gifted children in light of the contemporary society. Almost every gifted child I've gotten to know very well asking that question, what to do to make this a better world.